but it, it just strikes me as really terrible IT leadership. Yeah. Because, it, it, first of all, you're, you're not cre cre creating a consistent user experience. You know, there are tools that are better. There are tools, even if they come from the consumer world, they are more secure. And, and people just want it to be easier. They do want guidance. I know that I've seen a, um, two different types of BIT <coughs> programs where people try and allow a smorgasbord of devices and another where they only allow a single device. I won't mention what it is, but everyone probably knows. And both are equally successful. Because, so these users go out there, they have to buy a new phone. It's scary to them. They don't know what apps are safe and what aren't. They like the leadership. IT just needs to lead again with the, the next generation of devices like they did in the past. Some, yeah. some of it's who you're trying to attract, though. I know a pretty large corporation in the U.S. that was um, losing a lot of employees to companies like Apple and Google because those organizations, hey, you know, the sky's the limit. Use what you want. You have a very open type of work style. Then, then Apple lost one of their iPhones. Yeah. <laughs> so don't, don't but, but they were losing employees there, and HR got concerned. And why is our you want to work in an environment where everything's locked down? And so they're, they're you know. Well, I think it is, you know, you can question the IT leadership capability that has become the norm in our lives on the consumer side. So somehow that's got to be replicated in the workplace if, if, if you are going to try and attract that kind of worker. And maybe you're not, and that's okay, but if you are, then those options have to be there. I, I agree with you entirely, but by the, the, the same token, uh, we, we do have responsibilities in IT. Uh, BYOD is not uh, an excuse for IT to abrogate responsibilities. I mean, we're the chaperones at the, uh, the high school dance. Uh, so we have to be sure that the appropriate steps are taken. Uh, but in a balanced fashion, I was saying, we've we got to meet the users halfway. Uh, I was talking to one CEO a few weeks back uh, about, we were talking in general about mobile device management systems and why it's sometimes difficult to get the, uh, the financial uh, backing to, to put them in place. And he said, well, I I'm just waiting for the security time bomb to go off. Um, that one front page of the Wall Street Journal case that all of a sudden slaps these guys in the face and says, hey, <laughs> this is something serious I have to be looking at. So going back to what Robert said earlier, one of the things I, I talked about in my tutorial on Monday is that we correlated overall IT success with how engaged IT is with the business. And, and I think a lot of the issues we've talked about as far as businesses feeling that IT doesn't give them the tools they need, they don't listen to them, can be addressed by having folks in, in what we call a business technology liaison role where you've got people whose full-time job or at least a good chunk of their time is sitting with the business units, understanding what challenges they're facing, taking those back to IT, coming back to the business units and saying, hey, did you know we've got this, 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 and this? You didn't need to go sign everybody up for a Yammer account because we've got this, or you didn't need to go and get your own application because you can go to our, you know, uh, from our mobile team, we can give you some, some app that you can run on your mobile device. So we see that, that having that IT business engagement is really critical to avoiding a lot of the the issues of creating a, almost what we've heard a little bit of a confrontational viewpoint of IT between, between IT and business. IT's job isn't to you know, lock down business so the business can't get things done. It's to enable the, the business to, to, to do the things that make everybody some money at the end of the day.